Hi. So, um, Anna Vestin, I'll link her channel down below, had challenged me to come out on YouTube. Since I said I was going to make a comeback on YouTube, um, everybody, I had asked everybody what they wanted to see. Some of them said that they wanted to see a cameo, and I said, well, we'll see. I'm kind of camera shy, I'm not too photogenic. Um, I'm kind of lazy with my hair here. Um, but she challenged me, so I had no choice but to come out on camera here now, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe you'll see a little bit more of my ugly mug, maybe you won't. But either way, I wanted to come on here and say a quick hi. And what I'm going to do is I'm very far behind with the spring collab. Um, and I wasn't even invited to join it or anything because I had given up YouTube and that's fine. But I thought, you know what? It's a good collab. I have a lot of great colors. So I have 10 that I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to do any live swatches on these. I've worn them all. So I do have the swatch rings already for you and I can let you know about the formulas and everything. Um, I, I really got to learn to keep my videos a little bit shorter and sweeter. Um, so yeah, so for that, I'm going to say bye bye and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my top 10 pastel picks for spring. Bye. Hi. So like I said, I'm going to show you my top 10 picks for spring. Um, you're not going to believe it, but for somebody who does not like yellow, I have two yellows in this video. And the first one up, as you can see, is a pure ice and it is called Good Vibes. Um, I don't know what happened to the brand Pure Ice. Walmart no longer sells them. Uh, I guess you could still find them online somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. All this is, though, is a pretty butter yellow cream. Um, I believe I have two swatch, two coats on here. Uh, I love it. This, this lighter pastel yellow, I love. And then with the other yellow... We have this Sinful Colors from the Kylie Collection. And this one is called Buttercup. And this dries matte. I actually have it here twice. I have a new video set up now, so I'm trying to get used to um, the angles and everything that everything's set at. So if I go off camera, please forgive me. Um, I am working out the kinks. So anyway, here is Buttercup. And it is a very pretty... Um, again, it's, it's like a lighter yellow, a lighter butter yellow with a beautiful gold shimmer. And here's the, the glossier side. And here's the matter side. Looks great either way. Love this color yellow. Okay, next I'll go with the green. I only have one green. And this is another Sinful Colors. And this is Acid Test. And this is a pastel neon. Um, and I love it. And this is actually three coats. The Horrid Formula dries matte. But I, I absolutely love the color. So that is in here. And that would be one of my top picks. And I'll go with a blue because I have one blue. And this is from Schlee Polish. This is um, Kawaii Tattoo. And it's a very light blue jelly base with, um, everybody's calling this red, orange, shimmer anymore, unicorn pigment. So, um, whatever. But it, it's got a red to orange shimmer. And it's got um, flakies that are pink and blue. It's very pretty. Very pretty for spring because it's got all them pastel colors in there. Uh, yeah, so that is Kawaii Tattoo from Schlee. Next up, I have three pinks and I have three purples. I'll go with the pinks. And this one is um, Emily Damali. And this is Change of Pace. This is just gorgeous. It's got some darker pink shreds in there. Along with some scattered hollow. And it looks like... I don't know if they're all broken up flakes or if it's actual like 
glitter pieces as well. So this is two coats and that shimmer stands out really nice on the nail. So that is Change of Pace from Emily the Molly. I have um, actually have two Liquid Sky lacquer here. They are no longer in business. She is off doing missionary work, I believe. So this one here is Butterfly Garden. And all this is is a topper with the pastel butterflies. It's got the, the mint color, the pink. I think there's purple in there. And then corresponding glitters. This is all matte. All pastel matte glitters. I love this. This is a perfect, perfect spring polish. And I love it. And this next one, of course, has a perfect name. It is Easter Bonnet. And again, we've got like this light, light pink base and different sized uh, hex glitters and squares in there. Again, in matte pastel shades, minus that purple. That purple's a little bit vivid. And of course, I didn't get any of the purple on the swatch ring when I wore it. But that is two coats. Um, probably on your nail, you would benefit from three. But that is Easter Bonnet from Liquid Sky. And the next three we have are purples. Okay, first one up, I have, um, sorry, it was off frame there. This is Azoya, and this is Leslie. Beautiful, beautiful um, lilac, lilacs with the pink, I think, with this beautiful blue shimmer. It's just gorgeous. So that was Leslie from Zoya. And again, I have another, um, well, it's got a blue to pink shimmer in it. So this is DIY Diva from Finger Paints. This dries matte. And this is with the top coat. Okay, so yes, this is, you see more of the blue shimmer when it's on the nail than anything. But in the bottle, it's a pink shimmer also. It changes to blue to pink. Like many of these finger paints anymore have had that pink to blue, blue to pink shimmer in them. And it just makes them look gorgeous. So that's DIY Diva from Finger Paints. And give this one a little shake. Okay. This next one is Enchanted Polish. This is no longer available. I'm sorry, but this is one of my picks. This is Heliotrope. And this is a purple. Um, I'll say that this is a lavender purple because it's a, a deeper, darker purple. Definitely more purple than, than this one and more so than this one. But this is a linear holographic. And as with all enchanted polishes, they have a great formula and apply so smoothly and have a great holographic finish. Now, naturally, I can't get no holographic finish to show here. Um, I think my lights are kind of washing it out a bit, but trust me, if you're looking for a great holographic polish, um, Enchanted is the way to go. And again, this is Heliotrope by Enchanted Polish. And again, I apologize, they are no longer available, or this is no longer available, I should say. Um, but she has a lot of great other ones. And last but not least, what's on my nails is I actually had time to do some stamping, which is like so amazing. I don't remember the stamping plate. It was just a round generic plate though. So it wasn't anything spectacular. It's probably a very common image. Um, but the base of this is J. Rhine in Hand Grenade. And I'm sorry, my cuticles are kind of dry and mangled a little bit. It is winter still, um, even though it's the first day of April, we are still experiencing cold weather, unfortunately. But that is Hand Grenade by Jane Ryan. I also love this for, well, I'm wearing it now for spring, uh, but it'll make a great summer polish. I just needed something bright because everything has been so gloomy. Um, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know, um, you know, do, 
how are the lights? Are the lights okay? Is the setup okay for you guys? Um, I'm going to do my best to try and make something of this channel so that I don't have to um, tell you guys I'm quitting again because YouTube blah blah blah. Uh, I'm going to have another video with the Color Club Halo Hues. I know if you've watched my stories on, on Instagram, you'll know that I'm talking about these bad boys here. Um, so I'll be making another video with these shortly but i wanted to get this spring video up and posted for you guys so on that note i thank you guys for watching if you haven't already please subscribe leave me a comment i love to read your comments i love to reply to your comments and i will see you guys again in the next one bye